everyone, this is Robin from MyPinkStamper.com and I have a sweet video for you today. I'm going to share a technique that I showed on one of my live broadcasts a couple months ago and I completely forgot to film the video tutorial, so I'm doing that for you today. If you don't follow me on Facebook, it's My Pink Stamper and I do weekly live broadcasts where I do live demonstrations for you guys. Okay, so this is a really fun one. We are using the pineapple stamp set. Have you guys purchased the pineapple stamp set before it's gone, before it's too late? The stamp set will be gone forever. May 31st is the last day. Actually, May 22nd is the last day. They guarantee it if you're going to order it. It's being discontinued. This will not be in our brand new catalog. And I'm going to miss it. My daughter lives in Hawaii. So I we go to Hawaii to visit her. Seems like quite a bit. And we eat a lot of pineapples. I'm also using the Sweet Sentiment stamp set. I was just looking for a, a sentiment that kind of went with this and I'm going to use the best things in life are sweet. Isn't that so cute and sweet? Okay, so we will go ahead and get started and I will just describe what I'm using at the time I'm using it. And I will have the item number for you on my screen. Remember, as always, anything you see on my video can be ordered directly from my shopping page. And I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, so we will go ahead and let's, what are we going to do? Okay, first we're going to start with a piece of our watercolor paper. It's three inches by five and a half. Okay, so we're going to set that on the side. And then I'm just using one of our clear blocks just for a palette. So I'm using block E. This is a perfect size for the palette that I'm going to be using. I'm going to get my stamps prepared and put them on blocks. It looks like people want to message me <laughs> over and over while I am doing my video. And I don't have time to walk over and turn it off. Okay, so you're gonna, hopefully you don't, you're not too disappointed in me, but I cut my stamp. So when we have big stamps like this, I just cut them because I like to be able to stamp them in the different color without having them all to be the same color. I have to use the technique where I have to actually you know, color on this, or I have to emboss the whole thing in white. So you can get the same look. You just have to put them together. It's like a, these, maybe the stamp set should have come like this. I don't know. So I just made it like that myself. So we are going to go ahead and first, I'm going to have this on a block and ready to go. And I'll go ahead and put my, this part on a block as well. All right, so this is where we have a lot of fun. We're going to take some of our Stampin' refills for our, these go along with our Stampin' Up! ink pads. So you can refresh in and re-ink any of our ink pads. And I have a video, I'll put it on the screen, if you'd like to learn how to use these to re-ink re your ink pad and make them fresh again, like brand new. But I'm going to be using the re-inkers for something else today. So I'm going to go ahead and put the ink, I'm going to do like three dot, maybe four, three and a half, four. I always do more than I say I'm going to do. And I'm going to use one of our aqua painters. This is our aqua painter. It comes in a set of two, one's medium and one's large tip. And then you just fill it with water, unscrew it, fill it with water. And you can use it with our watercolor pencils. You can use it with our ink pads to um, give you a watercolor look. So I'm going to drop just a couple, one, two, like four, Drops, that might be too many actually. That might be too much. I don't want it to be that watery for this for this look that I'm going for. So I'm gonna put one back in just to darken it up a little bit. So this is the Crushed Curry Stamp and Refill. I don't know if I said the, the color. So what I'm going to do, this is a fun one. I just decided one day, what would happen if I actually painted on my stamps? I hadn't seen this demonstrated ever, so I'm sure I'm sure it's been done. I just haven't seen it. I'm just going to paint directly with my watercolor. Just directly on here, just really wet. Just really get it all on there. And now I'm going to stamp it right here. And I'm gonna to have to kind of stamp close to the bottom. The top is really, say look at that. Is that just so beautiful? Do you guys love this? Is this so much fun? Look at that. It looks so, Super cool. I can't even believe it. I've done this before. I've done this card before actually, but every time I'm going to probably have the same reaction. So now I'm going to go ahead and just, I just have a wipe here and I'm just gonna 
wipe this clean. You can drop, drop it until it goes clean. Rinse it in your sink if you want. Um, but I don't have a sink near me, so I'm just going to wipe this off. It's nice to have little wipes to clean up things in your office. Okay, so that should be, nope, it's not. That should be, but it's not. Okay, you can also just use a paper towel. There we go. I wanna make sure it doesn't mix with the green or it'll make it look yellowy. Okay, so that was fun and just kind of go, it just is a different pattern and it's nice when it kind of runs off. You could even lift it up and let it run while it's still wet if you wanted to. Have it be like a more rolly color. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing with this, the top, the crown. We are going to use Garden Green Reinker. And I'm just gonna probably do the same thing. I'll just do three, I just won't put as many drops of water. It's probably a good idea, right? So we'll do one, two, three. Okay, that's good. I think this one's a lot darker, actually, so. Okay, I'm just going to go over this. Really, can you guys hear the sheep out in our back? So every year, our we have we're, we live around farmers, and they bring their we have a big orchard behind us. Our orchard, big field. It's like I don't know, maybe probably a hundred acres. And so the sheep go there. It's so cool. So I can hear them in my craft room. I can hear them. They're so cute. Okay, ta-da! Is that so fun? So of course, when it it dries, it's going to absorb, but it just gives you a really fun messy look and I'd like to see what you guys create with it you know it'd be really fun use it with different stamp sets it works probably best with our clear mount and our red rubber doesn't work as well I'm sure with the photopolymer it probably wouldn't um, stay on as well to the photopolymer if that makes any sense okay do, 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 do. I'm gonna do that really quick I probably could edit it out but you know I don't really like to edit out a lot it takes too much time now we can turn this into, I kind of, I'm letting it dry just a little bit and I could use my heat gun if I wanted to, but I don't have it out. I could use my heat tool and I probably should. I just want it dry enough on the body because I'm going to stamp this. And let's see, let's see if I want to stamp that one because that one's kind of little. I might want to do a different one. I might want to do... Let's do Hope Your Day is Perfect because I like that it's bigger and I can kind of do it off to the side a little bit. And I'm not sure if it's going to run still. And this one looks like it, you might not be able to read the best in the suite if it starts to run because it's still wet. Okay, so Hoping Your Day is perfect. Perfect. Oops. Okay. Perfect. I love it. Is it so cute? It's just so cute. Are you guys in love? Are you in love with it? So now this is just a super simple card. We're going to take, I'll add one more embellishment on there and that's going to dry. This is a piece of our crushed curry cardstock. Say that 10 times fast, crushed curry cardstock. And it is five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just going to fold it in half like this. And now we're going to take this piece of garden green cardstock this is cut at three and a quarter by five and a half. So it's just going to go on here. Oh, let's add, let's add some paper. I didn't add any paper. Okay, so let's add this piece of paper. It actually kind of goes with it. Um, this is a piece of our designer series paper that's also retiring. So if you fall in love with it and if they have any left, I think it's still in stock as of this video, which is really good. So if you fall in love with it, now is a good time. Let's do two inches on this one. Two inches by five and a half. This one's, oh no, no, by four and a quarter. This one's going to go all the way over. Okay, set that aside. And I hear kids coming home from school. Oh, and there's one at my door, but they will just let each other in. All right, I'm gonna put this on the bottom. I cut this at two inches, like I said, two inches by five and a half. And now I'm going to go ahead and put this one on next with our adhesive. And mine is still a little bit wet. You probably want to let it dry a little bit so it flattens out a little bit more, a little bit better. 
And I'm going to just put this on here so it's flush and it's even. There we go. And now we can use, these are so fun. Have you guys tried our strips? Where are my strips? Okay, these are our foam adhesive strips. And I really like to use them when I'm, when I need to cover a, you know, large space that I want popped up. It would take a lot of dimensionals <laughs> to pop this baby up. So we have our strips and these are also great for shaker cards, making shaker cards with them. Okay, and then I can just use a smaller size on the other side. Okay, put that on the top. And then if you wanna put one in the middle, you can. I might as well, right? Just so it doesn't get concave later. All right. So I'm almost done here. So let's go ahead and just take the backing off of these. One, two, three, four, ah. Two, three, four. Oops, that one broke in the middle. I had to pull it, oh, now it's stuck on my finger. All right, last one here. And now we're going to just put this right here. Isn't this a fun card? And now we can take our enamel dots. These are our enamel shapes. They come in the three different color families and you can get them in the metallic shapes right now. And I'm just going to take one of the stars because I thought, oh, the star is perfect. I'm gonna stick it right here. And if you wanted to, I thought of another option you could do is you could tie a bow. This would be really pretty. This is our gold ribbon. This would be really pretty right there. I just kind of liked keeping it simple. Here's another one that I made with a different sentiment and I used a different green. So just to show you the differences and how it looks different every single time you use this technique. All right, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon, bye-bye.